didn't quite make it. <laughs> <laughs> See what you're aiming for, we have to turn off just there. Yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, security helmets and harnesses. Um, Good. Wheels done up. Yep. My foot's covering the brake. Diff wipe. So controls full on free. Okay. Uh, T wave. No glove on. Awareness of the runway. We're going on zero one. No one's on base. No one's on downwind. We've got one aircraft taxiing. That wind is lovely now, isn't it? Yeah. These are good, bars holding in, full power, 40 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour, bar coming forward, and keeping straight down the runway. Starting to turn on to crosswind. Turning downwind now. I've drifted up slightly higher, I'm going to reduce my height back down again. Downwind checks. Okay, fuel is sufficient for what we're doing. Awareness, there is paramotor, uh, paragliding on the activity on the runway. Oh, there's one running, okay. Yeah. So relax, Charles. Okay, let's try a glide approach and see if you can get it, see if you can nail it, okay? Yep. So, basically when you fuel, come off the power, and then it's all about the glide. Yep. I'll do my 500 and 200 foot checks. I mean, what I would do if I was you, I'd aim for beyond Sam, I'd aim probably third, third down. Yeah. Uh, you should, you know, give yourself plenty of, uh, I won't be too cruel. So whenever you're ready. Okay. I'll let you decide. Well, I'm actually really high here, so I'm going to come back to idle now. Bar coming in. 60 mile an hour. My centre line, I've overshot it slightly, but 60 mile an hour. That's okay, we did that because of the air paraglider. Yeah, 60 mile an hour. I'm feeling comfortable at the moment. Centre line, I need to come left. And the paraglider is on the ground. Airspeed, centre line. Airspeed, centre line. Slightly left, coming right. Airspeed, centre line. We're going to be halfway down the runway at this stage. Airspeed. This one wants a, a low powered approach, okay? Okay, understood. Very much the same as what you did on the on the crosswind landing. Yeah. Yeah, you'll find that 3000 revs tend to sit tends to sit nice on a powered approach. Yeah. So no one on finals, no one on final low. Come to idle just to get down to get that low approach. Okay. That's happening, I'm slightly right, I've overshot centre line, putting the power back in, holding that constant aspect, holding that constant aspect. A bit more power, holding that. Slightly right, coming left. A bit more power, a bit more power. It's left, coming right, centre line, speed, centre line, speed. Coming off the power. Got the 60. Looking long. Coming forward. Coming forward. Hold. Hold. Power, power, power. We've got 50 mile an hour. Power coming home. Coming forward. 60 mile an hour. Okay, downwind checks. Uh, fuel is sufficient for what we're doing. Awareness, there is still paragliding activity on the road. Another glide approach? Yep. Okay. And 
deliberately coming down the height because with these conditions and it being light from this position it's hard to get in so I'm deliberately coming back off that power at 3,000 right, so. okay nothing on final let's see if I can not overshoot it this time airspeed centre line perhaps 60 airspeed centre line ok I'm going to come in a bit short I'm going to bring the power back in Saw him at the last minute. To be honest, I did as well. I'm going to come off the uh, 60 mile now. I'm going to start coming off the power and turn at the same time. I'm really high. 60 mile an hour. Checking my centre line. 60 mile an hour. We're high. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, centre line 60, speed, centre line, looking good to my speed, centre line, speed, centre line, Coming right slightly, speed, centre line, speed, centre line, speed, centre line, speed, centre line, looking long, coming forward on the bar, soon we're rounding out forward pepper pepper 50 mile an hour we'll fall on the bar good could be better it was a good landing not perfect he is centered throttle and throttle is closed trim is set to take off are you secure in the back i'm secure in the back i'm secure in the front Still 800 feet. Looks like they may be winching, but yeah. Okay, emergency. Okay, are you secure in the back? Yeah, you just carry on with the landing. If you're not happy, just go around, okay? Okay. tried to pry my hands off the bar, you would lose <laughs> at that point. That's good. Okay, so that was a, that was a, 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 an emergency at low height, and it's only what 800 feet. Yeah. So you haven't got time to go through all the yeah all the, the necessary checks that you normally would. It's just get that plane down safely, okay? Yeah. Which, which is what you did. Okay. And make your make sure you're secure. Make sure that I'm secure, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to concentrate, wanted, wanted, wanted to concentrate on the landing. Yeah. Okay, so on the downwind, just practice flying the plane slow, so basically we, we, we're going to uh, ease the bar forward, yeah, yeah and we're going to keep the pair on, All right. so I just want to, to practice flying that plane slow. How slow do you want me to go? Uh, maintain 50. Okay. And maintain 800 feet. Yeah. How's that feel? Uh, unnatural. Okay, good. 
not, not difficult, but just like from everything else we've been doing, it's it's, it's like driving for the other side of the car. Uh, downwind checks, fuel is on, went through airspeed centre line. He's winching, he's winching, going around, going okay, around. Go around. Okay, should we try a short field landing? Uh, yes, let's do it. Okay, let's do it, yeah. So basically, uh, if you maintain that 50 miles per hour, yeah, exactly as we did before that, that last downwind. Yeah, so okay. go to that now. Yeah, yeah, just set it up now. So, so you want a nice low approach on this one. Yeah. Okay, because the idea is we're going to touch down on the numbers. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep that power on. Okay. Uh, and just before we're touching down, we're going to come off of that power. Okay. And we want all, all three wheels on the ground, so basically, you're probably going to have to lose a bit more height, I think. We need to lose a little bit more. Yeah. Runway centre line, we're going to speed back to 50. So you need to feel the pressure on that bar, yeah? Yeah. Slowing the aircraft Let's down. See what happens to the descent now. There it is. Okay. Right. And then just set it there. Centre line. I'm still just floating along. A little bit more power. Watch that airspeed. Airspeed centre line. Airspeed centre line. Airspeed centre line. Put the pressure on that bar. I've got it. On the power. Brakes on. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> <laughs> See what you're aiming for is you have to turn off just there. Yeah. <laughs> Backtrack. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? I really did. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you just have a little practice at that. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just keep that 50 miles per hour in your head. Yeah. It's amazing how, how flat you've got to bring it in, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then see if you can, you can stop it before this turn off here. Yeah. We've still got time left, you know. Yeah? Yeah, it's only uh, 30. Well, I've got about. We've got another circuit left. Can we do another circuit? So basically, on this short field takeoff, so we've got brakes on, we want full power. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I want you to release the brakes when we're on full power. Yeah. Okay, we're going to shoot along the airfield. When we're at uh, the correct speed, so as soon as we hit the 50 miles per hour, I want bar forward, mm -hmm. off the ground, and then bar back. Okay. okay. To maintain that airspeed. So it's just to get us off the ground. Yeah. Once we're off the ground, just bar back to maintain that airspeed. So just okay, so full power, make sure the bar stays back as well. Okay, so we want, to, we want as much speed as quickly as possible. You ready? Yep. Yep. You happy? I'm happy. So brake on. Full power. Decent piece still good. And go. Airspeed alive. 30. 40. 40. Okay, pop it up. And then back. There you go. And it's almost feeling that pressure, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Is that felt good? Yeah. That feels like a PB takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> Except you don't have the foot brake. Okay, that's beautiful. You've got loads and loads of time to set that up now. But oh, aircraft, got aircraft, in, aircraft in the overhead. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's probably wondering what we're doing as well. Okay. But he's in the overhead, isn't he? So it's fine. Okay, let's get this speed back. 50, bring the power back in. You got it. There you go. That's nice. There's a little bit more power, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, just feeding it in. If you like that power. Yeah. Want it to that air speed. Centre line speed. Ooh, come yeah, on, get a bit of constant. I'm not doing it very well. It's no. okay, that's good. So we drop through. 50 mile an hour centre line. 50 mile an hour centre line. 50 mile an hour centre line. Long. Cut it bar back and break. Hey! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> Mark's not going to like you because you're messing with the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, short fields, you've got to use the brakes. Oh, that was awesome. Now, if you look back at where you actually touched down, look at the, look at the length of runway that you've used. Yeah. You've hardly used anything, look. 
<laughs> Sorry, excitable child here. I like, le I, I genuinely love learning new things. And, and I'm almost at the stage where, do you know what? If, if I was never to pass my GST, I've learned so much just in these flights that are probably going to make me a better aviator. Yeah. My two drop, regain, and my off, master off. Uh, we're getting to the adventurous part now, which is circuit training <laughs> and landings and taking off. But I'm uh, sad, I like circuits. Yeah? <laughs> so, how do you think the circuits, how, how do you feel uh, carrying out these circuits? I'm feeling more confident in them. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, you, you, if you, you threw quite a few odd things and new techniques. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I don't know, are these advanced techniques? In, in yeah, we, 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 because the weather was so good, yeah. uh, we threw in uh, you know, short, field, short field approach, uh, landing, and a, a, a short field takeoff. Yeah. Because the weather was just amazing. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the one approach I did, it, it took a couple of goes to mm -hmm. get right, but actually, that slow approach to mm -hmm. come in at, you know, at 50 rather than 60. Yeah. And then screwed the first one up but then he said mm -hmm. we've got time have another go mm -hmm. but actually I know it's right at the end of the flight and I'm yeah. talking about it now but that that was brilliant to come mm -hmm. in and literally just over the numbers roll off get off mm -hmm. and then tax, turn off tax, the taxi first. on the first taxi one yeah. yeah that was brilliant yeah and you can see that you know what, what you can achieve when you set that plane up early mm. uh, you get the height right you, you, you get the power right uh, it's a powered approach and you can just see you, you know looking at the attitude in relation to the runway um, it was great and we, we, you touched down it, you immediately pulled the bar back which <coughs> slowed the plane down as well as brake uh, just remember you know when we're in circuit and especially with this airfield because it's a busy airfield just remember them lookouts mm. must really have you know make really emphasize that we must you know take a good look out uh, so uh, that was that was great any any comments on that well, I think we um, we actually <laughs> I think we both saw the paraglider uh, almost at the same time, I, I shoved my foot down and you went go around. And yeah. I think we did it almost at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, we were coming into land, it was going to yeah. be a great landing. Yeah. This paraglider just suddenly yeah. swooped so I'm obviously across looking the there, looked long, paraglider pops up. Pff, yeah, gone. yeah, but that was great. That was that was great. And you actually spotted that, which is which is great. But so, no, perfect. And also, I, I, I'm liking the telling yourself to relax as well. So that's good as well. So you you know you, you'll abort a landing. Mm. Uh, I think that's Mark's fault. He, all, I, all I hear in my head is, relax. Yeah, relax. Yeah, this relax. I mean, I always say in circuit, if, if you're doing a board, if you're doing a board landing, mm. don't panic. Just relax. Mm. Just open and close them fingers, ready for that next approach. Uh, and, and, and don't be stressed. Don't be, you know, forced into landing on that, on that second approach. As we, we've said this before, yeah. if it takes 10, 10 go rounds, it takes 10 go rounds. Uh, T's and P's in circuits, obviously, because we're, we're, there's, there's, we're putting a lot of stress on, on, on the engine, just always check them T's and P's. So yeah. on, on power out, check the T's and P's. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we've mentioned the, 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 the paraglider on the airfield, which was it's good because it, you know, it, it throws something else into, in, 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 into, yeah. into the equation and you managed it really well, which is great. Uh, the emergency. Yeah. Got you there. I'm going to have to look at the footage and see if, what your head's doing. Because I say, I was just flying along and then suddenly, emergency. Oh, yeah. right, right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was Mark said to me, I, I know mm -hmm. you said in, in flight that you said, um, I just focus on landing. But I said, I, I was sort of advised, make sure you're passenger because I don't want you getting, it could be someone not experienced. Mm -hmm. I said, just check yeah. the passenger. Yeah. If nothing else, Check the passenger. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Basically, passenger makes sure their arms are crossed, legs are in, in, the, in, the, in the cockpit, they're actually secured. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably as much as you've got time to do, really, because mm -hmm. it was, uh, I called the emergency whilst in circuit, which is 800 feet, and it was a complete surprise for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you managed it really well. Uh, and also, you uh, decided to pick the centre of, you know, halfway down the runway, which yeah. again is good. You know, it's to make sure that you actually, we have a long yeah. runway here and yeah. you utilise that length. You made the decision, I'm not going to land on, on the numbers, I'm going to push that yeah. towards the centre. And that was, a, that was a great decision because that was in, in, a, in, a, in a genuine emer engine emergency. You know, you, you were picking. You well, know, if you run short, you've got somewhere to run short. If you run short, short you've got yeah. somewhere to run short. And because the runway is nice and long, you know, you, you had plenty of runoff as well. So that was really, that was a, that was a great decision. Uh, is there anything else that you want to discuss? Anything else that you want to go through? No, I said. Um, I think I said it on the on the taxi. And I said, if I if I never pass my GST, mm -hmm. I'm really happy with the mm. the the extra additional skills I'm learning even now. 
um, that they're just making me feel just so, so mm -hmm. much more of a confident mm -hmm. pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, even just if I never passed and only ever flew my PB again, that where I am now, I'm mm -hmm. feeling a much, much better mm -hmm. pilot. Good, good. Well, that's what it's all about. And I'm quite confident that you're going to pass your GS test. <laughs> don't jinx it, don't jinx <laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, well done. That, it was a good lesson. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Cool. Well done. Well, now he's jinxed it for my GST. Um, we'll leave this uh, debrief here and I'll join you all on the, uh, on the next video. So until next time, everybody, fly safe. Mm -hmm.